Hi guys, how you doing? Simon here with, um, we've got our, our ab challenge today, a 20 minute ab, uh, ab challenge, ab workout. So a bit like my, my push up challenge last week, we've got our uh, 20 minute ab challenge to do today, okay? So I'll just let you all gather in and get it, get yourself settled. All you need is a mat, all we're gonna do is do some abs. All we need is a mat, okay? So who's watching? Maria, hello Maria. Good stuff. So, hope you've been enjoying the TV, okay? Um, staff doing cracking job bringing these, bringing these uh, shows to you. Um, if you miss it now, you can always go back and click on the tags and actually do it again, okay? Um, so, I did put on um, the sheet that you can um, print off. This, uh, this is so you can write your scores down. What we're gonna be doing is, we're gonna be doing 45 seconds of each exercise with about 15 to 20 seconds rest, okay? So in that time, you can write down your repetitions that you're doing, okay? So before we get warmed up, I just wanted to show you one of the most crucial parts of the abs that you need to be doing, okay? Um, and that's to do with your lower back, okay? So when we're lying on the floor, it's about keeping the back down. The way I explain this is when you're down on the floor and lying flat, your back can be slightly arched, okay? What I want you to do, is press that into the floor, okay? Press the back into the floor so it's flat down on the floor. And at all times, that should be pressing to the floor. Even when we're crunching, you should be pressing to the floor. Okay, so you try not to let your back arch, should be pressing into the floor with that. Who we got? Hi Marie, hi Linda. Okay, so we'll give a couple more seconds, uh, just a few more people to come in. Brilliant, good to see you all. Um, so this case is going to work on abs. Um, a little bit deeper in for the core and a little bit on our sides as well. Okay, um, so take around about 20 minutes, so it's not gonna be too bad, okay? Um, but what we need to do first is we need to now get nice and just, just loosened up, okay? So if you can get down with me, I'm just gonna be on my knees here. Okay, you can all see that there. So all I wanna do here is just take it side to side, okay? We're just gonna loosen the trunk up, nice smooth and easy. So just nice and easy and breathe as you do that. That's it. So you're just going to get the trunk nice and warmed up. Okay. Hi Jane. Hi Neil. Okay. From there. Just hold the hands. Just turn in and around. So again, don't go too far. Just so you can feel the trunk. You don't want to keep your hips still. Just so you can feel the trunk. Turn in as you go. Nice and smooth, nice and steady. That's it. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay. Okay, let's lean over. So there's stretch over one, stretch over two, stretch over three. That's it. Nice and easy just to get a little bit warmer and move on those abs. Okay, okay. So we've come down into child's pose. So from here, hands on the floor. I want you to sit back here and then I want to go forward and press your hips into the ground here. Okay. Come back and then press your hips into the ground here again. From there, just come down onto your elbows. Keep on there, just want to push up arch back and feel that ab stretch. Okay, if you feel more confident, you have a little bit of push. Try and keep your hips down on the floor there. Okay, just stretching and then down. Okay, and then back up. Brilliant, so we've just got a little bit of a stretch going there, nothing too major, nothing too hard, okay. So, what we're gonna do, 45 seconds in each exercise, I'll give a quick demonstration just as we go before, but we're gonna kind of run through it, so it should take about 15, 20 minutes, okay, nothing too hard. So, first one is gonna be our crunch. So, as I mentioned a little bit previously, come down into position, feet, heels down, knees, hip distance apart, okay? When you lie flat, you've got an arch, what you need to do is you need to push that in. So you're pushing your stomach and your belly button into the ground, okay? And you've got your hands here, and we're gonna start with a basic crunch, okay? So I'll just turn the side so I can see it. Right then, guys, you ready? Okay, so we're gonna go straight to this. Just gonna set, we've got 10 seconds warming up, and then we're gonna go into it. Here we go. Okay, 
So you don't have to rush it, you don't have to go too fast. Just a nice steady pace as you do this, okay? Are you ready? Here we go. Flat, let's crunch. Remember to count as you do it. Breathe out as you come on. Okay. And when you come back down, just to your shoulder blades and up. All the time pressing your belly button in to the floor. Carry. 20 seconds. And breathe. Smooth and controlled. Keep going. Breathe out. Okay. Got 20 there. Same again this time. We're going to get down. We're going to do the same thing with the feet. 90 degrees, okay? Heels, knees, 90 degrees, back, push into the floor. Are you ready? Five seconds. Okay, here we go. Let's go. Again, control, two. Three. Four, that's it, nice and smooth. Five, really crunchy. Count to myself at eight. 20 seconds to go. Don't forget to breathe. Keep your lower back in contact with the floor. Breathe. It's getting tougher. Okay, mess. Whoa. That was only 17. Now we're going to do the same thing again, this time with our feet in the air. Okay, so I'll do this. Feet in the air. So, push it down. So we've got a few seconds rest. So this time we're going to reach our hands up towards our toes. Let's go. So really keep flat. Crunch up, really feel it on their motor abs. Come on, push. Breathe. Going. Reach. This is the one way that you can really squeeze it as you come up. Really squeeze. Ah, oh, squeeze it, that's it. Almost there, come on, 10 seconds. Really go. Touch. And touch. And breathe up. Side crunch. So down here, you want to turn your knees to the side, but your body's still forward. Okay, knees to one side, body's forward. From here, we're gonna crunch up from here. Ready? One hand behind, one hand up. Okay, reach, one, two. So now we're working on the obliques, intercostals. Again, I'm not going all the way down. and keeping my shoulder blade just touching my head off the ground. And breathe. Really squeeze in this gap here. Really squeeze. So you can see your knees are off at an angle. But your shoulders are trying to keep straight. Keep going, 10 seconds. Nice, come on, push. Squeeze. Beautiful. Squeeze. Come on, up. Woo! That's breather. We would have to do the other side now. So, knees up, turn side. Shoulders straight, so we're not turning with it. Shoulders are straight, hands behind. This time the other, the other arm up, coming up straight with this. Are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Reach. Two. Three. So we're trying to squeeze down this bit here. This is a bit, you should be, should be able to squeeze together. Squeeze. And reach. And reach. Reach. Breathe. Never hold your breath on these, always breathe. Keep going, how long? We've got 15 seconds, let's go. Come 
month, squeeze it in. Just a little bit of that work. What makes that? Squeeze. Start down, put your stomach in, and then you pelvic tilt in and hook it in and hold. 45 second plank. Let's just hold that position. Breathe as you hear, head facing down towards your arms. If you're not sure you can look at my position. So what I mean by that is, so as you're doing that, so you're not bending down, you're up. From there you are pelvic tilted in and you're creating tightness in your core, in your abs. Come on, 20 seconds. Okay, I'm starting to feel that it's getting a little bit harder. Okay, hi Jenny. Hold it, hold it. That's it, keep it tight, keep it tight. Breathe it, keep it tight, come on, focus and breathe it. That was great, so now we have plank get up. So we're gonna do the same again. This time we're gonna come up, up, down, down, up. Down, down. Okay, so it's a plank get up. So let's start in plank position. From here. Let's go. So this is up. Try now as you best as you can. Try not to move your hips. Keep your hips dead still. Down. Come on, so you push it up, up. And what we don't really want to see is that. Up and down. We need to make sure we keep our hips still. Facing the floor and down. Control the arms, control it as you do. Come on, 15 seconds. Now it's getting tighter. We're not doing as many on this one. I think that's nine for me. Come on, 10, five seconds. Wow, 12 there. This time we're going to hold a low plank and we're going to bring a knee in to a low plank. We're going to hold the low plank and from that position we're going to bring a knee into the elbow and then the opposite knee into the elbow. Okay, you ready? Let's go. So we've got one. So control it. So you're keeping the plank position working. Breathe it. Just bring it in. Okay, get it warm now. Uh, uh, that's hard now. Uh, come on, 10 seconds. Uh, 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 wow, 14. Okay, now we're going to put the side planks. I'm going to do this both sides, okay? So side plank, his elbow, here, feet out. Now you can do this up here, or you can bring your knee down if you want to, you want to put it up straight. So from here, we're going to go dip, one, dip, two, dip, three, dip, four, dip, five. Hi Hayley. This is really hard now. Eight, oh, nine, ten. If you need to rest, just have a rest. Thirteen. Fourteen. Come on, push. Fifteen, push it. Sixteen. Seventeen. That was really hard. Okay, let's spin around. I've got to do 17 on the other side. I've got to do 17. You can match your number. Are you ready? Up and down. Get ready, feet on side. And we up. Okay. So dip. Two. Dip. Three. Four. Five, six, seven. 
Come on. Eight. Nine. Ten. Come on. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Ah, breathe. Oh, one more that side. Okay. Next move. We have plank, and we're going to push your arms out to the side. So we're in plank position. Yeah. Feet slightly wider. Push the arm out. Back in. Arm out. Back in. So let's go. Plank. Arm one. Out. Two. Three. Four. Again, we're trying to keep the hips facing the floor. So you don't want to move your hips. Keep your pelvis facing the floor. Come on. Almost there now. Come on, 20 seconds. This kind of moves help your core, your muscle that is deep inside. Come on. Let's work. Let's work. Yeah. Feel good now, sweating a bit. Woo! Yeah. Woo! Okay. So what we got next? A frame. So here, I'm just sitting in this position here. High valley. So lean back. So you've got a little bit of tension. Hands up. Here. So you can see me from the side. And we're going to go down. One. Two. Now, you must be leaning back slightly. Three. Like me. Five. So you've got a little bit of tension because you've got a little bit of a sliding back. Come on. 15 seconds. Chin up. This is tough now. We got it, come on. Woo! Okay, now we're gonna do the A-frame. We're gonna do the A-frame with a double. Okay, so as we're gonna come up, we're gonna tuck the legs in and out. In and out. Okay, ready? Here we go, this is tough. In, out. So bring them the heels in if you want to, just touching the floor. If you want to keep them off the floor, you can do. That's a bit harder if you keep them off the floor. Or we're going to tuck them in. Now it's hitting. So we've got the A-frame and this is the tuck. 18 seconds. Come on, oh, feeling this now. 13, come on. 15, oh, oh, 16. Okay, Russian twist. I'll sit this way. Okay, same position, so here again. Not really upright, we're leaning back. We've got to create tension. Hands together. What we're going to do from here is we're going to go side to side. Okay? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four. Squeeze it over. Six, seven. Don't forget you've got to slide in back. Oh, I can see those you popping up there. Hi, Liz. Hi, Lee. Come on. Remember, if you don't catch it now, put it on later. It's only taking you 20 minutes. Uh, almost there. Uh, 10 seconds. Oh, 17. Okay, single leg raises next. Last six moves. So on this one, One's up, one's out. We're going to cross these legs 
Make sure your lower back's pushed in, your shoulders are off. Up on there, you can hold your head if you need to. Okay, you ready? We're gonna switch. From here, go one, two. I'm gonna pick up the beat now. So remember, you don't wanna be flat down, you wanna be sliding up, create a little bit of tension, back pushing the floor. Come on, drive it. Woo! Yeah. Love it, love it. Oh, I can feel this now, right in that middle, right in that middle. Come on, stay with me, stay with me. Yeah, come on, make it work. Woo Get that core strong. Keep that foot belly button pressing towards the ground. Great. Whoa. Okay, we've got the same thing yet, double leg raises up. So if you want to on this one, you can put your hands underneath your backside. We're going to do double leg raises, okay? So this time, both come together. Make sure you look at my angle of motion, right? So we start there, 45 degrees and up. 45 degrees up. Note my shoulders, note where my head is. So I want you to stop halfway there. I don't want you to go too low. Makes it a bit harder when you have a little bit of a stop. Come on. Woo! It's like we're in the club. Let's work. I'm sweating now. Come on. Push. Almost there, nine seconds. Breathe. Squeeze. Now we go crisscross legs. So same kind of position. Here, hands slightly in front. We're gonna cross, cross. Make sure it's at this 45 degree level, okay? Belly button pushing in, shoulders off. So curl up, and here, go wide. Crossing, that's it. Here we go, get into the groove. It's getting tougher, we're gonna make it. But we've got 20 seconds, come on. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Oh, it's hurting. 10 seconds, nine, eight. Oh, almost there. Okay, reverse crunch, it's a really difficult one, but it's good. What you must imagine is here. Hands down. You're gonna bring your knees up towards your chest. Drop it back down. Make sure you come down slow, don't bang it down. Okay, nice and slow. Ready? One. Knees into chest, two. Three, it's tough. Four. Just notice they're getting a bit harder now. Five. And again, what you don't want to do is you don't want to swing it up and swing it down. You've got to pull it up and slowly let it down. Come on. And let it down. I'm going to press on my hands here. 15 seconds. Woo! Ah. Come on. Ah. Ah. There. Ten. Now we've got a full sit up. Now this is going to be tough, so see what you can do. It's going to be hard. You can use that hands to have a little throw. My heels are down. I'm going to throw up here. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go from here. Throw up one. Curl down. Two. So as I come down, I curl in. Three. You might need something on your feet. If you need something on your feet, just put something a little bit heavier. Just hold your feet down. It's getting hard now. Come on. That's only seven for me so far. We've got 18 seconds. Eight.
12. Okay, window wipers. This one, great one. From here, legs up, so you're gonna see the backside. From here, hands down. What you want to do is take legs to the side and over to the other side. So you do like a window wiper. Okay? Here we go. One, three, two, good. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Jill. Sorry you're gonna get my butt. But I can demonstrate better this way. So I'm trying to keep your shoulders down. And over, come on. Oh, it's hard. Wow, come on. Uh, with the wiper. Wow, set the timer. Okay, I did nine there. Okay, the last two hard ones is a V up and also a dish. So the V up, we come from here, flat down, and we come up and try and bring our legs up at the same time and come down. So there's a bit of a balance and it's tough. If you find it difficult, you can also do it with one leg. If you find it a bit more comfortable, you can do it with one leg or both legs. Come on, we've got 15 seconds. Breathe, don't forget to breathe. Come on, five seconds. Oh, oh, Ooh, hello. Okay, the last one, the dish. Okay, so the last one. So from here, your toes go up there, your hands go up there. So from here, you raise both up where you are without coming in, so you keep them up where you are. Are you ready? The last one, the dish. Hardest one. Here we go. One. Squeeze your bottom tight. Get your core tight. Again, you can do this one leg if you want to, just to make it a little bit more manageable. This one's so hard. We're doing that. Eight seconds. And relax. Woo! Well done. Okay. Have a breather. Well done. Way for like me. Sweating guys. Great stuff. So come back. Nine and then there. So I've got some scores there. So it's a really good um, thing for you to try again at another point. Okay, just put some music on, work your way through the exercises, put the video back on, do it again. You can do this time and time again. Um, to work in the rectus abdominis, which is your outside muscles, and your core, your transverse, which is the one deep inside for your back, and keeps them in straight. Okay, another really good class like that is Pilates. If you've not tried it before, Pilates is excellent, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out now, so I want you to lie on your front. And we'll go back to the stretch. The best one for the abs is the elbows down and in, and I just want you to curl up. Feel that stretch as you lean back and arch back. On your abs. And relax. Now take it to your hands. Push. And down. One more time on the elbows. Push up. Try and get high now. Be high. Head looking forward. And relax down. Okay, push up. Stretch our sides. So over to the side. Woo! It's amazing abs can make you sweat so much. <sighs> hey Lauren, hi Claire. Nice easy stretches. Okay, 
nice and easy. Okay, so that's just a little bit of ad work for you, okay? <clears throat> so I'm back. Tomorrow morning, I'm covering um, combat for Alex tomorrow. So we're gonna do a lot of boxing combinations tomorrow. It's gonna be fantastic. So that's at 9.30. I'm also back then tomorrow at 12 o'clock with Insanity. Um, for this one, we've got a pure cardio workout. So basically we've got pretty much a 20 minute all the way through. Not much rest at all, all the way through. It's gonna be amazing, it's gonna be crazy, I can't wait. And hopefully I should be outside. It should be really, really good weather as well for that. But until then, thanks for joining me. Uh, don't forget after me tonight, we have Thursday, we have Bally Fit Kate. If you've not tried that before, that is amazing too, okay? Quads, glutes, everything is really, really good. Okay, guys. So thanks for joining today, and I shall see you tomorrow. See you later.